Mr. Math here, thanks for watching my videos. Be sure to like and subscribe and remember to click the bell icon to be notified of updates. Hello viewers, welcome back to Let's Play The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. We are a little bit north of Kakariko Village, checking out some Lynels in the area. And when it comes to Lynels, we've been having a bit of trouble thanks to this business about for some reason headshots not stunning them and I've gotten a few different suggestions by reading about around online you know there was one that said you know fuse a muddle bud to your arrow and then it'll stagger them which I've been very skeptical about but I haven't had the chance to test it lately or haven't had the chance to test it yet so who knows maybe it's true and then another suggestion was that when they have their bows out they can't be staggered they have to be using their melee weapons only then do headshots stagger them And another idea I've come up with myself is using puff shrooms. Which I'm kind of surprised I didn't think about previously. Weapon, wrong weapon. <laughs> nope. Love him. Why didn't he pull out the paraglider? That is not what I wanted to do! Huh. Not the greatest, but... Haven't I? Yeah, I have. Soldier's Claymore. Yeah. Not too fussed about having one of those. Okay, what bows? Let's see. Hmm. 
Definitely drop this. Take that. Okay. Well, could have gone better, could have gone worse. At least I won. Okay. I'm going to be coming back here to take on this Lionel, but not quite yet. The last time I was in Korok Forest, I was thinking of getting another Forest Dweller bow. And then I completely forgot to actually do that. Mm. And I should probably get another rocket for the shield that I'm carrying. I didn't mean to use that. But okay, it went pretty well. As long as I'm here. I'd like to sleep. Uh till morning. I think that means five AM, which means a solid twenty four hours. go to get that bow. I hope this is the right spot. Yeah, here. Okay, so if I recall correctly, the bow was on the other side of this. Hmm. Why did that not throw? Ah, there we go. Okay. So I'm going to drop this, take this. What? No, darn, I was trying to sort. Ah. There we go. That's a good bunch of bows. Two of these, three of these. Anyway, it just occurred to me that I forgot about using the puff shrooms during that fight. I was kind of uh, overwrought with the uh, whatever video game version of adrenaline exists. Okay. Back here. This time. I think this is a level 3 Lionel. There's four levels or ranks or whatever you want to call it. There's red, there's blue, and then there's... Silver and silver main, but I don't remember which is which. Oh, stop that. But anyway, I'm pretty sure this is a rank 3 Lionel. Okay. Huh? 
Oh, darn it. Where is he? Where is he? Tulin, you're just standing there doing nothing. What the actual heck? This is getting weird. Well, two hearts, really? that my left analog stick is still drifting significantly. Okay, let's clear some of this grass.
Whoever's pushing me, knock it off. Fifty five fuse attack power. Wow. Look at all the arrows, jeez. Shield. Savage Lionel Bow. Probably best to drop this one and take that one. Speaking of which, yeah, I've got a picture of that one. That went, um, kind of not exactly well. Let's cut some grass. Good old Legend of Zelda pastime. Just to zen out. really explored this area. What with that Lionel trotting around like he was. Uh, it just occurred to me I might have been able to use this against him. Big enough he could have galloped in here, I think. But then I could have just... <laughs> ...remove myself from his line of sight. beat one of those types of Lionels. This is a Lionel right here, I remember. If I go back up to Dragonhead Island... I can see him from up there. Hmm. And I just had a thought about, uh, Strengthening my Lionel Killer weapon. But to do it, I would need to go back to Terrytown.
That is to say, to do what I have in mind. So I believe the Lionel was right there. Okay, the one I just fought had dark colored hair. Hmm. I want to get a picture of that guy, but how? be a good place to do that. I wonder why he's just standing there. Now he's moving. Lots of mighty thistles around here. Okay, let's see. Much closer now. Pretty sure that's a level four Lionel, rank four, you know, whatever. Hmm. Do I want to go for it? Let's see, is it a decent enough battlefield? Eh. Kind of flat terrain. No good place where I can jump from to get a good. You know, get a good bullet time going. Hmm. Okay, let's not do this quite yet. First, I want to see about upping the power of my Lionel Killer. Okay, so I need to talk to Pellison. I guess I don't need to do this with Pellison, but I prefer to have him separate it. Oh yeah, look, I'd forgotten that I spent most of my money. <laughs> okay, first... I separate these. Still close to breaking. And now then... Any more of that. Anyway.
188. And when you attack Lionels on their backs, it does not damage the weapon. So it uh, will last indefinitely until I you know, do something clumsy or stupid as I've done before. Okay, here to sell. Alright. It occurred to me Let's see, where are they? I bought an extra one of these. So let's sell it. 600 rupees, yeah. And then, right, an extra one of these. Okay. So I have a bit of extra money and I have a better Lionel Killer weapon. Hmm. But that Lionel that I was checking out, that doesn't look like a very favorable battlefield. I could still try it. I'd probably mess it up something fierce. Or I could try to find a different Lionel elsewhere. Or I could take a break from Lionel fighting and uh, go after a uh, an, uh, an Ice Gleok. That's another idea. But first, I'm going to go home for a bit. This, this music is uh, the song from Ocarina of Time when you go into someone else's house or store. And not just from Ocarina of Time, also Wind Waker. Only it's a much slower tempo. I just noticed that. healing items. try making a pizza. It's wheat, cheese, and tomatoes. I think. <laughs> oh. 
but hmm Could I put one of these in there also? some other effect. I don't need to increase attack power, not when I'm wearing this outfit. But hey, what if I'm not wearing this outfit? Let's try it. Banana pizza. Okay, a low level attack power boost. Huh. Wasn't there some kind of increases attack power? Let's try. This. Okay, mid level attack power boost. Until morning, let's have a good night's sleep. Blood Moon. I kind of expected there would be one. Alright then. Well. Okay. I want to get some rockets. I need more keys eyeballs. Uh, stupid <laughs> thorns are in my way. Might as well light them on fire so that I can get up here easily. What was I holding before? All right, that should do for now. Okay, I'm going to need the cold weather gear. And then hold up what am I going to do about weapons hmm I don't have much in the way of weapons really not really any good ones Okay, let's use this. <laughs> 
That is a whacked out looking weapon. Okay, that makes my chances a little bit better, I think. This is just a placeholder, I'll probably drop it later. Did over this, I think. that. It's better even than the Demon King's bow. Or at least it has more damage potential. Uh, I don't have many of those left. That's inconvenient. Uh, hmm. Well, I have quite a few fire keys eyeballs a few octorok eyeballs some Aracuda eyeball I, I have enough eyeballs <laughs> what a weird thing to say okay up here I have enough eyeballs. <laughs> Makes sense in context. <laughs> so we want to go that way. There it is. Flying around down there. He's quite a bit, sh quite a big shadow on the ground. Any chance that it can see me all the way up here? Well, not if it flies that direction. I kind of have my doubts that something that big would even be capable of flying. And even with wings that big, it would just be too heavy. Okay, it doesn't seem to be noticing us up here. So that's sort of... Um, circle in. Pretty clear weather at the moment. Doubt that'll last. Let's see. So it's doing kind of a figure eight. Huh. That might be a good way to reach it when it goes far up into the sky. And no, just got to remember that rock is there. Huh. 
Yep. Alright, let's stop delaying and start slaying. Missed me. Goodness, we are too far away. Come on, come on, guys. What the heck? Okay, 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 okay. Um, um. Dazzle fruit? What the heck? Oh, I ran out of uh, regular key size. This is not anything to worry about. feeling I'm going to need those. Oh well. Okay, that went um, not terrible. It's not great. But not terrible. Let's 
Doesn't look like there's anything else around here. Whew. Let's see, there's another ice gliok here on the Byron snow shelf. Yeah, but for my preparations, I think I want to go find something. All right, first things first. I need another bit of rest. And then, hmm, I want to find an Igneo Talus. Well, look who it is, Dinral. Just come up from the depths. Stop that. Go in the door, please. <laughs> I want to find an Igniotellus and get an Igniotellus heart. Of course, that's going to mean switching to the Flamebreaker gear. Now then, I know that there's an Igniotellus in this cave right here. Uh, hmm. I think let's see there's there's an igniotellus near one of these uh, light roots but I don't remember which one maybe this one burning. Ah, the shield. Ah ha ha. Got it on the first try. ready for that. Like right here. Okay, that was fast. I didn't think I was going to get him that quickly, wow. Alright, so what can I fuse it to? Um, hmm.
No, I'm keeping that one as is. Hmm. I don't really have a good item to fuse it to. Let's fuse it to this for now. And I can separate it at uh, Pellison's shop when necessary. <laughs> It's only plus 27. That's not the greatest. Ah, well. It'll st it can still come in handy. When and if I find a better weapon that I can fuse it to, I will do so. That should be good enough. And you know what? Let's get some pose. As long as we happen to be here. I've observed this before. Way back when this game first came out, people were all going on about how, oh, the depths are so intimidating and I'm so scared down there. And I absolutely should have felt the same way. I should have, but for some reason I didn't. And to this day, it still weirds me out. It's just weird that the depths didn't bother me. They were just another place to, to, you know, go do stuff. More pose over there. Oh, also, um, horrible ones. particularly feel interested in dealing with horrible ones. Uh, bargainer statue? Let's go to a bargainer statue and spend some pose. It's been a little while since I've done that. right on target, but is it up or down? This looks like it. Darn 
Darn it, get out of the way, guys. You who stand before me, offer pose. Wait a second, I can get all this stuff? Huh. Well, how do you like that? All of this you know, armor that I found, I can now buy from these guys. Armor and weapons. Huh. Okay. I was kind of worried about using these things up, but, uh, oh, I could just buy them right here. Wait a second. What about the Hylian shield, though? Hmm. buy another one of the each of these oh, it cost 400 pose each that's a bit pricey what if I buy this set again that's 650 pose I can afford that Yeah. So I could sell the X I could sell the second one for some cash. Pretty close to Hateno. Let's go there. I wonder if uh CC would be interested in this stuff. I don't need this outfit on anymore. Uh, let's... Where's the hat she gave me? There it is. That looks silly. Uh, there we go. A little bit more foppish. talk to to sell stuff. I can finally do business again. Ventest Clothing is back. Feel free to browse. We appreciate all your support. Just like I pictured, the difference is night and day, isn't it? Not many people could pull off that hat with such verve. <laughs> anyway, did you need something? Are you willing to buy some stuff for me? Okay. Yeah, 600 for each of them, so that's 1,800 rupees from, like, 600 poes. Oh. 
Why, hello there. Aww. I have a private collection of rarities from antiquity sourced from all over the world. Items from my collection aren't ordinarily up for sale, but I'd make an exception for you. If you ever part ways with an article of clothing that's hard to come by, see me. You may, I may just have the thing you're missing. Show me, please. Well-worn hairband. 20 rupees. <laughs> Soldier's gear. Climber's gear. Rubber set. Barbarian set. Glide set. Froggy set. Miner set, Ember set, Frostbite set, Mystic set, Zonite set, Bokoblin mask, Marble mask, Zophis mask, Horblin mask, Lionel mask, Yiga set, Royal Guard set, the Four Divine Helms, then the Hylian shield. So that's where it's hiding now. Uh huh. But I already have one, so I guess that's why I can't buy another. Right. I think I'm more or less ready for the next battle. Where was it again? The Byron Snow Shelf. That's where it is. First things first. Cold gear. I should remind myself what I need to upgrade that again to three star. But later. Okay, we are out of time for this episode. Got a little bit distracted from my Lionel hunting, but uh, honestly, I don't want to do too much of that. I'd get burned out on it real fast. So, viewers, thank you very much for watching Let's Play The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. Finally took down... Uh, a blue Lionel and even a silver Lionel in a way that felt fair. <laughs> and uh, also f took on a uh, an ice Gleok finally and got some more items to make good weapons out of and you know just generally nice productive episode in my opinion. I hope you enjoyed it and I will see you in the next one.